Good afternoon, I'm Anne-Marie Laflame and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A big ruling in the heartbreaking case of teenager Bobby Reyes as a judge dismissed the case in the battle between the boy's family and C.S. Mott Children's Hospital. A judge has lifted the stay that stopped the hospital from doing a second test to determine if the 14-year-old is brain dead. If that test confirms brain death, then doctors could take the teen off life support. His family is also fighting to find another hospital that will care for Bobby. We're also following a carbon monoxide scare in Detroit that sent six people to the hospital, including three children. It happened at the home on West Grand Boulevard, just off I-96 on Detroit's west side. A mom and her son woke up in the middle of the night feeling sick. That's when she called police while her grandfather warned their neighbors. The fire department is blaming the scare on a faulty furnace. And both sides are back at the table trying to win the strike with UAW and General Motors. GM CEO Mary Barra and President Mark Royce, they were in the negotiating room with UAW leaders this morning. This comes on the 30th day of the walkout. The union is asking local presidents from 10 states to attend a council meeting in Detroit on Thursday. UAW sources tell us there's no tentative agreement right now and they won't speculate on whether a deal is close. The union's national GM council will meet for an update Thursday even if there is no deal. Let's check in now with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor. Sunshine for now, but clouds will continue to increase. It's also going to be a mild finish to the day. We're going back to the 60s. It will not last long. As we get towards the evening hours, a cold front moves in. That's going to bring the opportunity for some rain. Numbers are going to hold into the 50s, but you'll notice the winds start to pick up. We're down to around 44 degrees for tonight. Seven day does bring the 50s back and then the 60s for the weekend, but more rain will be expected by Sunday. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, decades after a Detroit police officer was shot in the line of duty, he's receiving the recognition that he deserves. Officer Scott Larkins is going to be added to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. Larkins died in 2008 from complications of being shot in 1978. And his grandson wrote an essay that inspired a Wayne State University police detective to make sure that Officer Larkins was honored. Certainly well deserved there. And those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Remember the news is always on WXYZ.com and the 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame. Have a great day.